<laughs> hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst with Christina and, and today's happy, we're here for a little bit of happy. We've had a little bit of technical difficulties because we aren't technical. <laughs> and so um, if the lights blow out and the glue gun starts burning up, we, we're there. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so today we're gonna make door swags. We're gonna make two really simple door swags. But I first had to bring these pennies back out these are the same ones we showed you yesterday, but look how much bigger that is. Womp, 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 womp. This is the Sonoma. The Sonoma Halo, I believe. Isn't that beautiful? Those are just absolutely amazing. So today we're actually gonna work with some silk pennies, which I told you I'd never seen a yellow, a real life yellow penny until this week. I've always seen in yellow, which that's not real close, but it's pretty close. So let me get these out of the way. So, how is everybody doing today? Everybody's good. Miss Alice says hi from Alabama. Miss Alice, you make those scones yet? We're still waiting. We're I still, wish you uh, lived closer I, so we yeah, could try yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to make a really simple door swag. And I'm going to wire this one all together instead of doing glue. On the second one, we're actually going to make it out of a base of the curly willow and then we'll make it into that. So, sorry we're on the fly today a little bit more than normal. We actually just finished doing a webinar for Society of American Florists on what we do for protection for the, personal protection for the COVID. We had to, they asked us to run that one, which I guess they couldn't find anybody else out there that <laughs> wanted to do it. Anyway, so, that's why we're running a little bit late and a little bit more helter skelter than we normally are. But better can, late than never. Better late than never. Better late than never. Except I have trouble getting these butterflies unpacked. The struggle continues. The struggle. It's a struggle. Scissors. So anyway, so let us know where you're from today. We love knowing where everybody's from. Miss Shirley's from South Georgia. Oh, good. We have the good evening from the UK. Hello from Romania, from oh South goodness. Africa. Oh my goodness. Pencil, or, yeah, Pennsylvania, Greer's Ferry Lake. Awesome. Someone asked, how much is the wreath that you made with the lemons on it? That one, ran, that one ran about 350. And we've had people call. We've had several, actually several inquiries about it. And it's not that it has to be the end all be all on that. We definitely can modify that and we have modified it several times since then for different people. And we've done them in doubles, we've done them on ovals, and they've just given us a budget they wanted to stay within. And then we have to, when we show you what we can do, we send you a picture. And if you want more, we add more. If we don't, then so be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and shape these butterflies out. We've used these before. So we have Miss Rhonda from Houston, Miss Carolyn from Texas. Awesome. Hawaii, Hot Springs, Little Rock, Aloha. Alabama, Minnesota. So let's do this. So now we're going to take this one and we're going to stagger that one down from there. Oh, let me back up. Well, okay. yeah, wide angle for me and the sticks. Oh, <laughs> anyway, Golly. So it's not side by side, but down. So now I'm going to take a piece of wire. We moved everything around right at the last minute. It's like literally because the the glue we're going to use the glue pan today but the glue pan kept blowing the lights out and so and i didn't tell christina but when i went and got the glue pan i actually dropped the extension part into the glue like the plug-in so i'm like well it's probably not gonna work anyway so it it's been a struggle the struggle is real the struggle is beyond real but we got it working now and we're here okay so update miss alice said i picked working. up a dozen baby bites after my doctor's visit which are small little cakes with icing at a place at home oh, now i can't see the rest of what she said so hopefully her appointment went well oh she said no scones for the next two weeks because she bought these little baby cakes. oh so she must have a much more uh uh, personal control than we do because we would like be eating the cakes then wanting to come the, the scones so we have oh. mississippi southwest virginia awesome ireland zimbabwe kentucky mexico we're so glad you are here hopefully when we finish you'll be glad you're here too <laughs> that you made the attempt to be here 
So all I'm doing is I'm just taking these and you can actually, <coughs> excuse me, tape these with brown wire or use that bark wire we used before. But for speed today, I'm not going to. Miss Rhonda asked, how much are the yellow silk pennies and can they buy them per stem? Oh, like I've always told you, we sell, we'd sell the paint off the wall here if we thought we'd get away with it. And is our silks on sale still? The silks are 50% off. These are originally $16, so they'd be on sale for $8. And yours, <laughs> yes, we can ship them all anywhere in the world, pretty much. I've already made one trip to the UPS store today, so, uh, so I can, can definitely make, we make can, another one. We can make another one just for you. So now we're going to take these pennies and we're going to actually lay those in. And we'll go ahead and cut these off. These don't break, these don't pull away very well. And these pennies actually come from Allstate for those in the flower business. Uh, most people have asked where we get our flowers from, who made that. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you these are Allstate. The butterfly branch comes from direct export. Well, that's weird. They were 16. Yeah, I had the wrong. Okay, they were 16. So let's go back and wire one of these down. Kind of to Stephanie the middle. Stephanie said that y'all make our day so happy. We're so glad. Miss Tina said she loves watching us every day. I'm going to tell you, we felt a little pressure today because yesterday we don't know what happened. We don't know why it happened. But yesterday we've had over 30, almost 32,000 views on yesterday's. I think it is 32. Two. And so we have no rhyme or reason. We don't know why. But we're thankful. We're thankful. We're very thankful that everyone's, anybody's watching and just being a part of our happy. But it's kind of so like. So someone asked, what are we making? We're making a door swag. I think we're making a door swag. We're trying to make a door swag. <laughs> we're trying to make a door swag. We're going to make two door swags today. I'm gonna lay that one back we have on hello top. from South Africa. Awesome. So now I'm gonna wire those all together there like that. So nothing's been cut apart or glued. That's coming up next. But this is just a real simple treatment so you can always repurpose all this stuff for something later. But it gives you a, a little bit different take on a door swag and the fact that it's literally a swag. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and tie it with a ribbon. So I've attached all that to there. Oh goodness, let me come back with it. Okay. Womp womp. <laughs> to there. Now we'll take a piece of ribbon, this really fun orange gingham or check ribbon. Miss Sandy said, we love you. It's actually one of the best parts of the day. Miss Ann said, you have so many views because you offer a happy time for oh. all of us each day. And thank you for that. Well, thank you for watching. And someone said yesterday's was beautiful happiness. Oh, well, good. Well, we always, well, at least I do. I think I think too much. I always want to make sure we're doing something that you enjoy seeing. So always worried that's not going to be good enough for you or it's something that you're going to enjoy watching so so we're just going to make a simple bow let me make that slower because someone's going to ask <laughs> so how i make a bow is real simple so i do a first a small loop like that then i twist it you don't have to twist this ribbon anymore because there's not an upside or downside but i'm so old school i cannot not do it so and then i make another smaller bow. So really, I've got small loop, two loops. Then I go back and make my larger loops and I'll make probably three to four on each side of those, right? It's okay if you don't get it. I still can't do the bow, so. I think you're doing a ploy though. <laughs> no, I think it's left, I'm left-handed and I don't know how to twist. Not excuse. Ugh, fine. <laughs> I get everything done and then I go, Mr. Chris, I need a bow. bow. We need a bow. Bow on all three. We have people saying they love watching you arrange flowers from Georgia. Oh, fun. Miss Patsy asked how much would a wreath be on a 26 or 30 inch wreath? So we can check on that and get back with her. Yeah, and, I'll definitely and do that. Honestly, we can definitely just, if you'll give us a price range, I mean, 
as I always say, and Miss Peggy said yesterday, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. So we can always come up and do different flowers. The reason why that other one ran so much is because those were a little bit more premium flowers and premium roses. So they were like $17 a piece before the sale started. And it doesn't take long to get anywhere at $17 a hit. Miss Cheryl said, hi, I love my panties that I got yesterday. They are beautiful. Oh, good. We kind of had a run on them in the store after the video. I don't know if it's because people were watching or just people came in the store, but. A lot it was a hit. A lot of people were going, where's those panties that Chris did? Oh, good. So let me hold this up. Simple, easy. And what you would want to do is you want to leave the stems exposed like this so it looks like you just went out in the yard and gathered it up. But to make the door hanger part of it, you're just going to do a simple twist on one of the loops. So that gives you the hook on the back. How's that look? I can't. Pretty. Pretty. The butterflies are really fun. Yeah. Gives you a little pop of color everywhere. We good? Good. Okay, so now we're going to start on the next one. So I went ahead and brought the bag of chips out that everyone asked about the glue chips. This is from Oasis or Smithers Oasis. And if you're in the aisle and looking for it, it's just hot glue, hot melt glue, as I got hot glue on it. But that's how it comes. So it looks like little, just little pillows. It looks like those old butterscotch things you used to get almost. So, Miss Gwen said, I'm left-handed and make bows all day. No excuse. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for siding with Mr. Cross. Told ya. Anyway, so now we're going to do is take two bundles of sticks. And these are actually small bundles of curly willow, but you could easily go out in the yard and just cut down twigs. And you want to bundle those together like this. Like that. Oh man, I thought I had some, well, we're going to improvise on that. I thought I had a bundle of the bark wire here, but. Ooh, I don't, don't think we do. Oh well, go with the flow, right? That's right. Go with the flow, go with the flow. Green so, wire it is. Green, yeah. Don't judge me. Anyway, so now we're going to go back and actually do three points on this because we're actually going to use this to glue into. This is going to become our curly willow, or it's going to come like our grapevine base. So I am going to glue these. And I'm actually not going to cut the grapevine, cut the rubber band off until the last. And, if, and then if I don't have to cut do that, I won't because that gives it more structure. Because what you're wanting is to have things that you can in, to stick into that. So what we'll do first is we're going to take two pieces of this fun wisteria vine. Christy, I'm going to put these over here because someone's going to ask Someone how much is. it is. Great and that idea. way we can just add it up. I'm telling y'all, we are so on the fly, it's not even close to being funny. Two of those. So we got two of those. Two of these. Well, you know, maybe it'd be boring if we, you know, always had everything planned out. <laughs> well, you ain't got to worry about that because that ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't ever going to happen. So anyway... So let me go ahead and take all these tags off while I'm doing it. They want to do multiple picking up and down. So, like I said, all of our silks are 50% off in the store. So if you were to come in and buy these and say, hey, I want you to make something, then we just go back and add, add a labor charge on top of that. We, we give the 50% off, but then we have to go back and add a little bit of labor to it because Daddy likes to eat at night. So. Anyway, so now we're going to take this bush, and this is just a really inexpensive uh, hydrangea bush, but I love the color of it. So this bush is $18, so you're looking at this being $9. So we're going to cut that with our handy dandy cutter. I'm only going to do this half at a time because my blade's getting a little worn out. We never heard from the warehouse on this or back We then. didn't. We need to yeah, ask Yeah, we need Mr. to find Jerry out because I know they're been shipped. So quickly and easy that was. So what we'll do first is we're going to add our lime material first. So let's go back and take this. Now, if you want to live on the edge, you don't have to glue any of this. You would just try to make sure you have enough tension 
to hold this in and if you have enough patience you actually could just wire this through the material without having to glue glue or cut anything do you have enough patience for that you already know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> you already Negative. know. You know that already ain't gonna happen. Could happen, but we might be here a little bit longer than we need to be. So there's that. You know, this actually you go. You used to remember people make those things over the mirrors and all that stuff. Don't really see a lot of that going on right now, but people are still want things on their doors. This would be great. These kind of more narrow ones would be great for double doors because you got space in between, unlike a wreath, which sometimes can be a little cumbersome. So let's take this one. Yeah, there you go. Break and twist. So I honestly think I probably could get away with just one bush. So let me find that one. That's going back over to here. Let me give that to you. Get that out of the mix. Let's go back and take this vine. And the reason why I choose this, because these are artificial flowers, of course, or faux flowers, faux botanicals. And so what we're trying to do is incorporate this on top of the natural twig so it all looks fresh and natural when we finish. So we have a first time watcher. Miss Rachel said hello, first time watching. Uh, hello, she Ms. Rachel. owns a florist in Tennessee. Oh, fun. We're glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. So all we're going to do is we're going to insert that into there. We're going to insert this one into here. And there's enough tension in this to hold that in place. That's not going to fall out. I promise. No matter how we do it. So there's that base. So now we'll go back and I'm actually going to start gluing in. So I'm going to take a little bit of this pink with my hot glue and we'll start that right into there. We'll take another piece like here and we'll insert that into there. And last but not least, I'm actually going to do another piece, but I'm actually going to take it and I'm going to pull it over. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it into here first and then when we finish, I'll pull that back on top or kind of a layer of this color back over the whole thing. So that's where we are now. We really need one of those overhead cameras, but I don't know that we're smart enough we ever had it any way to work it. At least I'm not. That's that's probably you true. You are. You are smart enough, Christina. Let me say that. So. so Mickey is watching. She said, like Mickey Mouse. Oh, my goodness. Well, hello, Mickey. So let's do this. We want to take these really... These are really, 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 really faux leaves, meaning they are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> they are shiny. So I'm going to pop those off. Never throw a thing away. We might base it with some, something some other day that we could go back and actually paint over it or whatever we want to do. But I don't think we want these really shiny, almost plastic looking leaves anywhere. Miss Joanne is watching from Poland today. Oh, wow. Welcome, Poland. So let's go back now and make the base with this hydrangea. We also have someone from Pakistan. Oh, wow. And Andrew's watching and Miss Grace is watching. Well, hello, Miss Grace. I don't know if that's Andrew watching or that's Janae watching. I don't know. I think it might be Janae. The other Janae's watching the too. The other Janae's so. watching too. So the inside joke on that, my wife's Renee, Christina's mom is Jennifer. And I think if we put them in a tow sack, I don't know who'd fall out first. They're both <laughs> exactly alike. Exactly, so, exactly alike. alike. Yeah, if one says something, the other one says exactly the same thing without knowing they said it. So we call them Janae. That's where that comes from. So anyway, I know sometimes, because I always think Andrew's watching and Renee goes, that wasn't Andrew, that was me. Because <laughs> she gets on his Facebook post. So anyway. So we have people saying, hey, we love your videos. This is beautiful. Um, it's Miss Sandy's first time to watch from Norfolk, UK. Oh, awesome. And also Pakistan. I'm not oh, sure if awesome. I said that. That's cool. So how did y'all find out about us? Just from the other posts? 
And then we have someone that got all inspired to try my own arrangement for a shower next week. Thank you. You've well, done everything you've done to spread some joy and explain along the way. Oh, oh good. Miss Alice said she loves Miss Grace and Christina's videos this week, showing us the beautiful shop. And you actually get to see who Christina is. <laughs> That's true. I don't know if I like that or not, but we like showing y'all around the store yeah. too. We do a great. We job. do continue to tell Mr. Chris though. Don't worry, we will not take your happy videos. Oh, uh, hey, run with it. So let's do. Let's take these leaves and we're going to glue those back on top because they look pretty natural. Miss Becky said she's from Conway and she said she hasn't been been able to catch us live recently. So we're glad that she did oh, today. I am so glad. So now we're going to just start inserting these. And the reason why I chose two different colors, A, this one's a little bit less expensive than that one. Oh, Christina, I got off the boat here. I didn't, oh, goodness. Oh, let me put it over there. We can figure it out. Yeah, I got it. Never mind. So this one is eleven fifty. Okay, remember that. And the other one, I believe, is like eight something. Hang on. Yep, nine fifty. So it'll be four seventy five. Rebecca said, your arrangements always surprise me and truly inspire me. As my wife says, oh, I, Lord, I thought today was going to be off, the, off, off in the ditch, and then it pulls together. So. Miss Linda That's, said, Christina is lovely. That's very nice, Miss Linda. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, she is lovely. We have Miss Orlean from Florida watching today. Someone asked, what are the cutters that you're using to cut the stems? So this is the cutters that we've had for several times. This comes from Craig Bachman. Uh, we've just got some in for those that don't have an account with Craig Bachman. Um, we've just got them in for sale as well. And I think they're going to run a, like one, 149 or something like that. I think like it was that. 149, yeah. 147, 149, yeah, around like there. That. Somewhere in that. So if you, do, if you are interested in that, maybe they could just Facebook message us and we can take care of Definitely. it. Definitely. For sure. Ms. Pam said she can't wait to try this arrangement. Well, it's just got all kinds of what I call legs to it. You can definitely go mm, being attacked to do with it. Miss Melody asked if you own the florist. Um, I'm the vice president of the company, and Christina is the wedding coordinator slash my my uh. Uh, what, what title do you want today? We'll give you I any don't title, know. What any title, title do you want? You have any title you want. You know what? I don't need a title. Yeah, okay. Miss Janice says she loves hydrangeas. She calls them a bunny rabbit plant. Bunny rabbit plant? Okay, so Miss Carolyn said, I was wondering, is the glue that sets in the pan when it cools down reusable? Yes. And you can use it next time or do you have yes. to clean it no, out? No, no, no. It's just like <laughs> it's like baking grease. You just use it till you use it <laughs> up. <laughs> but anyway, no. You definitely don't want to throw it away. It it'll cool that way and as you run out you just keep adding more and more to it. So let me angle this real quick. Miss Teresa said, Hi guys, hope y'all are having a great day. She's glad that we share doing these live videos. She's from Humno, which oh, is not far fine. from here. Okay. So now we're gonna go back and do something fun and add green raffia to it. So this is colored raffia, and this comes from Canood Nelson. And instead of doing a bow bow, because we've already done a bow on the other one, we're going to add a little bit different texture to it. So you're going to work with raffia. It's really simple. It's just colored straw, basically. What I'm going to do is find a, a point that I want to tie it up to. Just like that. just like this. I'm going to do one loop up. This is shorter raffia. Normally raffia comes in really long, what I call hanks. But when they color it, they have to disassemble it to run it through and sometimes the runs aren't as long. So I'm going to do one loop like that. We have Southeast Kentucky watching. Cool. They envy the speed that you can put together an arrangement. Oh goodness. Well, 
I've had a little bit of practice. Someone so, said they never would have thought to use green. They really like that. So there's that. So you made a big loop and a big loop. I've already tied it in the middle. So now you're just going to take this. Miss Stephanie said beautiful arrangement from, she's from Magnolia. Fun. So there's that. And if you ever wanted to go back and add a little bit more drama to the bottom of it, all you would do is take a piece like this. Let me hold this up. This is like bad hair if you don't, can't tell what it is. So there's that, right? So now if I want to make it longer, all I'm going to do is take a piece like this and I'm going to tie that lower in the base and then that'll give me my streamers. Nazia said it looks like paper flowers. Amazing. So then you just pull that apart, pull that up, and last but not least, that one piece we talked about earlier, that one, we're going to go back and pull that over so it'll give it more depth or more dimension. So now we go back and start pulling some of these up so it doesn't look quite so flat. Right? Then we would go back and just take a, 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 one of these stems like this. And you're just going to take it like that. And, and I would just take just a dab of glue, pin it underneath that, and then I bend it up like this. So that makes my hook in the back. Anyway, that is, oh, let me pull that yellow over a little bit, don't I? Oh, there's one down there. Here, it popped off. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue it. Instead of work, spending time to find the center of it, where it came out of, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue there and put it right in the middle of that for a little bit more depth. So that's a simple, easy door swag, just using a couple stem, stems. And so that's today's happy. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Ugh, I'm eating the glue over here. And then, see, I told you, we're just a hot mess. <laughs> hot mess in the hot, hot glue. Me hot mess in the hot glue. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching today. I hope y'all have had a little bit of happy, and I hope we'll see y'all tomorrow. And I hope y'all have a blessed night, and be a safe night. We'll see you later.